Hello guys and welcome back to this rather special episode of the Reptile Zoo because we are now on episode 24 I believe um, I'm going to give you guys a little uh, overlook tour of what we have done so far so right now um, we were started there at the entrance of our Reptile Zoo you can see there Reptile Zoo and here you have the visitor center with some food and everything. And uh, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick overlook view of the zoo, of what we have so far. It is quite big. There we have it, there's our zoo. You can see here the outer borders. Um, it is quite filled up already. You can see some prominent buildings, you know, standing out all over the place, some bridges, a gondola, you know, all that stuff. So here we have this very small entrance and when I started building this, I was like, ooh, this could be too big. It's not as very small. So connected to that, we have the uh, tortoises. And then we are actually going to make a left. We're going to ignore that. We're going to go back to that. And um, I have to say, like, we have a lot of foliage, foliage here, um, which I absolutely love. It is quite crowded. There are around 3,500 people in here right now. And here you have this lovely view of the pygmy hippo, which obviously I have a lovely waterfall because I love waterfalls. So we have that. You can walk all the way around here. Now you follow the pathway. There are some nice features here as well, but we'll get in there in the actual zooter at the end because I don't want to spoil too much. You have this lovely pygmy hippo. Well, I know, habitat sort of. Where you can just, you know, chill and see them sleeping here. Yeah, look, there they are. So cute, they have babies and everything. So then, um, if we exit, you know, through there, ooh, through the roof, apparently, we have here this little, um, uh, what should we call it, food court, which I'm not actually quite happy with, so I'm probably going to demolish that and rebuild that. I can also hear that an animal escaped. Ah, uh, it's one of them again. Never mind. So, following the path, we have another food area there. You're actually the black bear and usually escapes somewhere. Yeah, well, it's back already. The black bear, we're not going to go up. What we are going to do, we are actually going to sidetrack back a little bit to the path that we had here. Let's pick me here, but now we're actually going to make a left. And then here, this is when the aquatic pack came out, by the way. <laughs> here we have our Otter. This is our indoor plaza, which I'm actually quite happy with. It's all lovely black. It used to be green, uh, which was kind of ugly. And then we have this otter habitat, which bubbles. You know, you can see them really well. Underwater viewing. Oh, and the reason I'm doing this video is just to show you guys what we had so far, because I'm kind of building all over the place. Sometimes it gets a little bit confusing of where we are in the zoo. So then we have here the first of our two night houses, which of course we have to be quiet at. So inside of this night house, it's actually an art park. I'm not going to show you all the habitats because you just have to look the, at the building videos or wait for the tour. And then here we have our second night house, which is the tape here. Now here there is going to be something. I'm not quite sure yet what, but there is going to be something here. So if you have ideas, let me know. And then we're gonna go up. Are we gonna go up? Well, we're just gonna float above it. You kind of upstairs here. In here is a little food court. And then we have this giant panda habitat for the giant panda, but it's also enormous because it stretches out all the way here. Like it's this entire bit all the way there. And there, there needs to be something here. I'm not quite sure. What just thinking perhaps a rhino, but I'm not yet sure. And then here's a bridge, but I'm not gonna cross that bridge. We are actually going to go here. Because this connects with the bear habitat we just saw. This is our pea file garden. And I love pea files. Look how pretty they are. And this is one of the things that I'm most proud of. Oh look. It's wooing. Let me just take a picture of that because it's wooing his wife or like his future partner. Poof. And that's a walkthrough habitat and then you can go here and get a bridge. It's not, this bridge is not done yet. It needs to be uh, maybe some wood trims or some lights or something. And definitely lights, but perhaps also some wood trims. 
And then we're gonna go into the monkey part. Because on the right, on the left, we have the nose monkey, which is the proboscis monkey, and I like to call it the octo monkey. Because it reminds me of Squidward of Spongebob, which in Dutch is called Octo. Uh, they're probably... Yeah, they're probably at the other side right now. Anyways, and then here we have Lemur Island. Lemur Island has this little bit of an insight, but then it also has this giant bridge, and that leads to the actual island, which is here. This is Lemur Island. Quite big, quite nice. I actually have a boat ride, which is there, and it goes all the way through this giant body of water around Lemur Island, which I'm really happy with. Then on this side we have more of the proboscis monkey, then we are coming here. Also, this is also a proboscis monkey. Here we have the red panda habitat, or red panda paradise, I should say. Because this looks actually really nice, in my opinion. It uses the bridges as well. I don't know why I have this random item here that shouldn't be here. <laughs> That's really nice, and the guests can have a really good view. Obviously, we're gonna need to do some work here. Um, it's quite there. There should be something here. Still not quite sure what, but we'll figure that out. And then, oh, I can see there are a very large amount of items here in this area. Here we have a little walk around for the hyenas. You can see them there. And I know they're not tropical, but I still feel like they were there. And then we have this little ice cream selling place with some toilets. And then over the bridge here, we have the Barbarissa. And again, I'm not gonna go into detail in these habitats right now. If you wanna see them, uh, the playlist is linked at the end. And you can see everything there is to see. Now we're gonna get into something interesting, even if I say so myself. So on the right, we have our gorilla habitats, which I absolutely love because I love primates and gorillas are my favorites. So they have the gorilla habitat. But then on our left, we're gonna go sneaky upstairs through the trees. You know, this is all decorated and stuff like that. We have this lovely viewing point of the uh, jaguar. But, we also have a monorail station. Oh, oh, it's gonna fall because there's actually no... Uh... Yeah, it's stuck. So, you know, there's gonna be a monorail throughout the entire park at one point. Still working on that. Then we have the Jaguar, which are... Oh, there they are. Apparently right next to me. Now, that lovely big habitat. And again here, you know, this is also the gorilla. Then we here we head over to the Indian elephant, which is a lovely big uh, ha habitat with a lovely elephant home. They have babies, and here we have the dwarf caiman. This is a walk over habitat, which I feel is rather really clever. And there are like 139 of them in here, so quite a lot. Now then we obviously had an issue because um, we were at this side of the ha of the zoo, and we weren't able to get to the other side. Because, you know, I can't build around this giant mountain because this giant mountain is on the brink of the edge of the map. So what I did, I built this gondola. And I believe it's actually... Where is the gondola? Ah, there it is. So, you know, we're going to take the gondola to the other side. People are actually in it? No. See, I'm still not sure how this works. It's confusing to me. Anyway, so now we have this area. We're gonna go this way first. So here we have our um, Bengal tiger, which again, the lovely viewing points, but top one and then the one at the bottom. Now, here the paths are going over, but if we go this way, like this is the bear habitat, which we saw, and this is the habitat for the clouded leopards. If we follow this path down, you know, all the way down. We're gonna go into a little area which I just finished, and which you probably already saw on the channel a few weeks ago, last week, I don't quite remember. We're going to the Capuchin Monkey Habitat. Oh, look. And you're also gonna get a sneak peek of what I built on the right side, because that is coming some other time. We built a little food court. When I say little, I mean this very pretty food court, which I'm obviously not going to stand in too much detail. So then here we have the orangutan habitat. The lovely waterfall features again. Oh, there's one. And then we actually get into this tunnel. 
Yeah, uh, which obviously will still need some light fixtures. Like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. There, you have this little viewing point where you can see the orangutans. Also correct, if they're not here yet. And then you have this food court underwater, which is relatively small, you know, hot dog, pizza, pip shop, water, coffee. Now, this area, I think I'm going to do flamingos. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what to do with this. And then on this side, we have the Malaysian tapir. Usually they are very close to the front. Yeah, there's one. It's running away. Oh, there the others are. Oh, all the way there in the back and there. Anyways, and then on this side, we have the gharial. Ooh, oh, oh, from the thought my game was gonna crash. You can get inside here. And you have ooh inside, and you have this gharial habitat. And this gharial habitat actually has two viewing points. They have one there, and they have an underwater viewing point, which ah, uh, finally the guests are using it. You know, in theory, they would be here, and you would be able to see them. And this. Ah, oh, they're using it nice. Also has like a glass feature there. Doesn't have any railings, that's a bit unsafe. Anyway, this exits to our little reptile home. Or dome, should I say. Which is actually really nice. And then, you know, pick me habitat and we are back at the beginning. So let's zoom out a bit. So we have the entire map. So what you can see is that we have covered almost this entire area. Obviously this I'm not going to cover and this is a mountain so we're gonna leave it as a mountain. Then here we have some mountain sites which I'm going to leave as a mountain as well. Then I'm gonna leave open here. Um, flamingo possibly, I think. And then we have this open site which I'm not yet sure what to do with it. So again if you have ideas let me know. Same for this. I was thinking perhaps Indian Rhino but I'm not yet sure because it is quite big so possibly I could separate that. Question mark, not sure yet. So there should be something here as well. Now this area is all filled. Uh, I'm not going to build anything here because you can see the level of elevation that you have here. Um, that's just not gonna happen. Plus I like being uh, having some open fixtures. Perhaps I could build food, no, not food because we already have food there and there. So this is just gonna stay as it is, which is actually really nice. Now, then we have this area. This area, we still need to build something here. Like that's quite important. There needs to be something here. So I was thinking maybe perhaps on top of the uh, mountain, a Japanese macaque habitat, because I know that they like to live in the mountains. I'm not yet sure. So do let me know what you think of that. And then we need something for this area here. Now I have no idea yet. There needs to be a lot of stuff here. The elevation is, uh, you know, relatively high so that's why their the path here is elevated but obviously we can lower it down which we did to the capuchin monkey habitat we messed around with the terrain as well and that's completely fine so if you guys have any ideas or tips or tricks whatever please let me know in the comments down below so we can enjoy the final steps of our zoo because guys i think i mean let's be realistic here this is an episode one two three possibly four uh five six seven eight ten probably ten episodes and then a zoo tour and then our entire zoo is done now we have a mega zoo and that zoo tour is going to be fun it's probably going to be really long but i really hope you guys enjoy it and you guys will stick around for that long so guys, um, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure have enjoyed it. I love showing off my project. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys did as well. And if you did, make sure to leave it a like, give it a thumbs up, you know. Uh, you can comment, you can even subscribe to the channel. And I will hope to see you on the next episode. <laughs> Goodbye, guys.